what's really happening in the market right now? Well, hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty. And with all of the uncertainty surrounding around the real estate market right now, more than ever, it's super important to dig into the data to see what the trends are telling us about where we're heading. These numbers are for Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties. And on this first chart, it shows us the inventory. And as you can see, the light green saw the second straight month of decline, 18% in homes for sale from 2468 homes for sale in December down to 2008 homes for sale in January. And in the dark green, we see the sold properties, which also saw a pretty sizable decline from December 1226 to 826 in January. This isn't really anything to panic over. We typically see the inventory and sales pick back up after the Super Bowl. In the red is the pending sales, which we saw the first increase in four months from December's 908 pending homes to 1201 in January. This is likely to do with sellers confronted with the changing market and they're needing to reduce their price in order to get a buyer into contract. This next chart shows the price per square foot, which we continue to see a decline from 312 square feet in December to 308 bucks a foot in January. Again, this is expected as home values in the region have taken a hit over the past several months. On this next graph, we have the list to sold ratio, which actually increased from 93% in December to 94% in January. Again, this is likely to the sellers becoming a little bit more realistic on pricing due to the market adjustments in the recent past. And down below in orange, we see the average days on the market, which has increased another six days from December to January, taking homes on average 54 days on average to sell. And on this last chart, we see months worth of inventory. This chart shows us how long it would take to sell the existing inventory, which increased from two months in December to 2.4 months in January. So what does all this mean to you if you're a buyer? Well, inventory is low, but you still have options available and sellers are more willing to negotiate and have been becoming more and more realistic towards pricing. And interest rates have come down a little bit in the past couple of months, hovering right around the 5% interest range. And what does this mean if you're a seller? Well, this may not be the insane multiple offers that we saw over the past couple of years, but it's still a great time to sell. With interest rates getting some relief, we're seeing more buyers coming into the market competing on limited inventory that we have. Depending on when you purchased your home, you still likely have a good amount of equity. A lot of our clients are actually surprised because of all of the negative doom and gloom real estate market forecasters that we're seeing that are saying that we're heading to a crash. And we're still seeing a surplus of a lot of cash Bay Area buyers looking to relocate into the Sacramento area. So if you're considering selling, we may already have a qualified cash Bay Area buyer that we're already working with. It may take some time to adjust to the new normal, but overall, the outlook is optimistic. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, please feel free to give us a call. We've helped over 7,500 families over 35 years in the greater Sacramento area, and we would love the opportunity to assist you with your real estate goals. Give us a call at 855-TOM-DAVES or go to tomdaves.com. <music>